friends, how are you doing? Um, I was just here. I was thinking, <clears throat> as I'm organizing my children's snacks, okay, because they're animals and they just go in the pantry and just tear shit up. They just look like fucking lions and tigers looking for a snack and they turn everything upside down. So every once in a while, I have to go back and straighten everything up, right? So as I'm doing this, I'm like, just thinking, you know, just random ass shit. And I'm like, I think it's hilarious that, and I don't like to bring up like the negative stuff, but I, it's just the audacity for me, okay? Um... Like, people were really out here saying that I don't feed my kids. <laughs> it's funny now, like, I can laugh, but everybody knows I buy too much for my kids. And it was just the audacity for me, you know, like, you know, it's just some hating ass bitch just looking for something to say, you know? <clears throat> and it's just, like I said, it's just the audacity. For me. And I only have two kids, okay? But I I make sure that they're with, not without, you know? And I know one of them's an adult, but she works very hard. And she goes to school, you know? Um, so I don't want her stressing about stuff, you know? She's almost done with her school, and then after that, you know, I can make her responsible for things. But as of right now, she's just chilling, you know? And... Because she's worked, my daughter's worked hard since she was able to uh, work. She's been working. Um, so, you know, she's almost towards the end of her schooling. She's going to graduate and I'm going to be twerking on that. Be twerking and be at that song, Thought Shit. We're going to be dancing to that song <laughs> as she walks the stage. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's just rumors, like, you know, and people, what people don't realize is, damn it, let me turn this down off. And I actually got it from Honey Boo Boo, the show, and it was basically, um, she was doing some talent show, right? It was when her mom lost all the weight and stuff like that. And she was on the stage and they asked her some question. I have no idea what they asked her. I can't remember. But she said to like to be mindful of your words because sometimes words um words are, are more damaging than than physical right okay so she got a sheet of paper right let me see if i can do it for you hang on let me see if i can get paper Here's an envelope, okay? And she crumpled it, right? And she's like, this is like an insult. Like, if you insult somebody, if you say you're fat and you're ugly or whatever, right? And you apologize. And then you open it up, right? You know, you apologize. Those words are still damaging. Those words hit me. And the piece of paper will never go back to how it was originally, you know, like flat and straight. Because um, once you cut somebody with your words, you know, you crumple it up, right? Because that's how they feel, right? That's how they feel. And then you say, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I didn't mean to say that, you know. My bad. So they're trying to get themselves back together. And they can't because... It still hurts. And even if they accept your apology, the pain is still there. Well, for some people, you know. Not people like me. <laughs> but, um, anyways. So, with all of this bullying and harassment that I was going through, it was hard, you know. It was hard to live my day-to-day -day life just knowing what people were saying about me and I knew it wasn't true. That I was starving my kids. I was a heroin addict and 
I can't do anything by myself, you know, um, things that I've worked my whole entire life not to be, you know, and just for somebody who was just being a jealous, hating ass bitch to say those things about me. Um, not only that, you know, cause people are going to talk shit. People are going to be a hating ass bitch, whatever, who cares, but to entertain it for people to believe it without even any proof or anything like that is, is very hurtful, you know? Um, but I understand, you know, sometimes we don't think things through and if it's coming from a reliable source or who you think is a reliable source, you're going to believe them. Um, and those are lessons that we have to learn, right? <clears throat> anyway, so let me show you what I'm doing. So these are, this is what I have so far. I have a couple more things to put in here. Um, I took everything out of the boxes. You know, like children and animals, they can't bear, they can't bear to, you know, open a box or anything. So, um, and it's kind of like some Tetris. <laughs> Just kind of put it wherever you can. Oh, guess what I'm making tomorrow. I have a treat for you tomorrow. So I'm going to do a cooking video. And I'm going to make funnel cakes. You know, because it's Fiesta. So in honor of Fiesta, I'm going to... a lot of movies, right? And, um, I put, um, some candy, like the movie candy, candy. I had it in an H-E-B bag here on the counter. And, because it was in a bag, my kids never found it. They never found it. It was, like, right here on the counter, like, in the middle for two weeks, and they didn't even, it didn't even, you know, because it was in a bag. <laughs> so, that's how you gotta hide your snacks. Gotta hide them in plain sight <laughs> in a bag. This is it. It looks like shit, but it looked better than before. <laughs> Good night.